Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello, students. I'm sorry, I had the microphone off <laughs> so bad. So welcome, guys, to our English class. How are you today? Tell me, tell me, how are you? Yes, a volunteer. Okay, a volunteer to explain how do you feel today? Teacher, it is great to me. I had a good time. So something that you want to share. So this is a great time for us to practice. Okay, so tell me, how are you? I want to listen to you guys. Go ahead. A volunteer to talk about your day. Okay, one volunteer, only one, only one, please. Nobody? Nobody will speak today? Don't scare me because I need you to practice. Okay, who's going to say? something about your day so you open the microphone and you say teacher it was a great day to me my personal experience i feel good i don't know something yes well it was something tired but i'm fine, fine. okay motivated uh so so <laughs> so so but it's nine so it's good <laughs> yes Okay, so it's a very, you know, a, a great effort you made for staying here in the class at this time. So it's good because sacrifices make a winner. That's something that we just like can focus. All right, thank you so much. Well, let's just start a class, guys. And well, something that I need to, to encourage you is to practice because you are like pre intermediate and you will go on to um intermediate one two and three so and it's very necessary it's very necessary that you can speak that you can produce the language because and uh, you need to communicate actively if you don't do that one it's gonna be hard because at the end you won't have the same uh, natural naturalisms to, to talk, right? So that's why it's very important that you take a time to practice to speak in the class and communicate actively. So guys, don't forget about that. I'm pretty sure that we have a good time to, you know, to interact here in the class today. And uh, having the spaces to practice English, it's the best way to, you know, show that we can do it. As an English, as an English teacher, I can say that the best way to, you know, improve speaking is talking in a class, uh, practice actively. And also you will feel comfortable later because you have been talking and it's no bad at all, guys. So it's something that we can learn from the English class. Okay, so let's start today. We have a different content to share today in a class. And also look at this one. Oh my God, so what happened? Okay, that is much better here on the side. Okay, the, the class for this day is video conference number 14. Wow, guys, we are about to finish this level. Well, the time goes so fast. Imagine we are in, in 14 now, so in like two more and we conclude this for intermediate number three. And then you will, you will go on to a different level so it, you can uh, practice and uh, improve your English. So I hope that everything that we have done, you know, could have helped us and well, can help us to be better. So let's just start today, messages we tell and ask. Especially when we have a conversation, we have the opportunity to, you know, to talk about uh, some things. For example, when we transmit a message, we can tell or we or also we can ask when somebody's saying something and we're like, you know, trying to know what the person is saying in a conversation. So for that reason, let's see what happened. 
And also yesterday we were talking about the use of going to, when we're talking about the future form, we are saying that uh, for future, uh, specifically with present continuous, and we talk about something that will happen in the future, but most of the time these activities are planned. So that's mean that people have arranged an activity for, before that. And uh, especially with going to, and because yesterday we worked in some exercises like this one we, we have right now here in, in the screen, what I want you to do is to try to complete the statements using going to. Like, for example, the number one, I him tomorrow. And I will help you with the first one because the goal is that you remember the structures that we studied yesterday. According to the grammar structures that we studied yesterday, and how can we um, complete the sentences using the future present pre present continuous? Using going to. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera? I'm going to meet him tomorrow. Exactly. So you can see that, that, yeah, I am going to meet him tomorrow. So you combine the going to uh, plus the verb plus the complement. So you're saying that you're going to do something specifically. Okay, because it's a short review, I want you to um, complete the sentences using going to, because this is one of the examples that we developed yesterday in our English class. So let's try. And don't forget if you have any question or doubt, please, uh, you have the freedom to ask and say, teacher William, teacher William, how do you say this one? Or how can I make this a statement? So I will be more than glad to, you know, to help you with that, guys. Let's go.
Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Yes or not? Tell me. Uh, no yet. No yet. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. So please, guys, when you're ready, um, you also you you say, teacher, I'm ready because the goal is that we can, you know, compare the answers using the going to, and also the goal is to identify the main verb in this statement. I was actually um listening an audio related to a conversation about traveling. So I will share this link. So you can also, you know, listen um, actually this information because it's very important. And uh, as I said before, that we have to have a good time uh, practicing listening. And it's definitely great when you listen English for a long time you can get some important, you know, points like, for example, the listening skills, you understand vocabulary, you also can listen the accent, how people can express their ideas, their thoughts, and you can try to, you know, speak. And uh, was one of my recommendations is that besides that you learn vocabulary, grammar, it's always necessary to, you know, to work with listening skills because that can help you. Uh, when I when I learned English time ago, I used to listen the radio in English, even though I didn't understand many things that they were talking about. And with the time, I could I could learn. So I could learn and also practice because that is something very necessary for the English. Okay, Giselle and Petatrice, are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Uh, Maria Elena, are you ready? Yes. Ready. Ready. Okay, tell me about the number two. Let me see. They are going to drive to the blimp. Thank you. Number three, volunteer. He is going to go to the football match. Excellent. That's right. So he's going to go to the football match. So that's right, because it's a plan that the person has done to go and also uh, watch the game, the football game. So that is great. What about the number four? Who wants to help me with the number four? He's going to visit her aunt. Okay, she's going to visit her, her aunt. That's right. Um, that's okay. So you can also compare in the chat the answers and also the writing form. Great job for that one. What about the number five? Help me with this. One. Number five. Look at this one. Help me with this, please. We are, we going, are going to, write, to a test. write a test. Yes, we're going to write a test. Yes. And also focus about the accent. We are going to write a test. It's important. Yes. Okay. Look at the number six. Tell me with that one. Uh, what is the number six? 
they are going to offer the tea. Offer? Um, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? They are going to offer them tea. Okay, they're going to offer them a tea, right? Okay, to offer them tea. That's that's great. What about the next one? My friends are going to spend their holiday in Wall. Oh, let me update the chat. Thank you so much, right? So uh, we also could update that answers to here in the chat. And look at the next one and that number eight. So about my uncle. So how was that? Yes. My uncle is going to buy a birthday present for Harry. Okay, he's going to buy a birthday present. Yes. So that's mean that he is going to do something like a plan. And it's exactly exactly as it is, right? Okay, great job. What about the number nine? Help me with that. I am going to feel the rabbits. Yes, that's right. So the rabbits. So let me uh, write it here back. My Maybe father is talk. going to wipe his car. Oh, the last one? Okay, yes. my, my father? Is going to wash his car. Wash, okay, wash his car. Okay. Yes, that's that's great. So thank you so much. You, you have done a great job with this exercise. And you can see the grammar instructor is definitely, um, it's a very, very important in this part. Okay, so let's try with the next exercise we have here. I don't know if you have a question before that we go on to the next part, just to just to be curious if there's something that maybe you needed to know about these structures or any comment. If not, we, we go on to the next part, but I don't know if you have any questions or doubt about this exercise. No? No, no. Okay, your, your silence says no. Okay, um, who wants to help me to read the instruction about this activity? Complete the word map with, part, with phrases from the list. Then add one more example to each category. Okay, and guys, please don't forget to have the camera on. Recuerden de que pues, es algo que se les dijo desde el inicio, ¿verdad? Que tienen que tener su cámara encendida. So let's work with this part. So in that in that case, thank you so much for reading the information. You can see some leisure activities. Do you do you remember about the leisure leisure activities? Yes. Oh, as we know, um, leisure activities are those activities that most of the time people do or develop and because they have a free time and they need to do something interesting or something that they can do as an entertainment or hobby. In that case, we have the, the next vocabulary in this part, like you know, barbecue, the baseball game. We also have a basketball game, a beach party birthday party, comedy act, dance performance, golf tournament, picnic, rock concert, tennis match. So look at how interesting is that because we have a map of friendly gatherings. 
So uh, activities that you can do with your friends, activities that you can take in the from the list that you can do with your friends. And also we have live performance. Are those activities that are happening and you go to enjoy this event or these performances. And we have the other one that is spectator sports. Are those sports that, you know, people can also practice, you know, sports that you can try as an spectator. Spectator sports. Spectators that we know like espectadores, deportes. So why, what I want you to do is to separate this vocabulary and also uh, separate it according to the categories, friendly gatherings, spectator sports, and live performances. So for this, I will give you uh, a couple of minutes to separate these words, and then I will ask you for each category. Let's go. Okay, uh, ready? Yes or not? Yes, yes. Awesome. Let's see, you can help me to, you know, socialize each one. Why don't we go especially with friendly gatherings? So what words did you match with friendly gatherings? Who wants to help me with that? Uh, for me, it is um, beach party, picnic, play, and barbecue. Barbecue, sorry. Oh, barbecue. Nice. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer for sharing the information? 
Hari Bird. Hello? Sorry? Any other participation here in the class about friendly gatherings? What do you have in the list? In the friendly gatherings, we can add to the list a birthday party too. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, Christian. Thank you. Okay, what do you have, guys, about spectators, sports? So uh, what do you have on the list, guys? Spectator sports, what do you see there? Baseball game, basketball game, golf tournament, tennis match. Ada Agar, right? Yes. Okay. So you can see here that her list is very complete because she made some sports. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, she mentioned some sports that nowadays are very important on the list. And let's see the last one that is called live performance. What do you see in live performances? Who wants to help me with this part? A volunteer rock, about live performances. A rock concert. Comedy act. Dance performance. And play. Yes, I think it's play. Okay, that's right. So we can also include that part, like the live performances. Yeah, this is great. I totally agree with you. Thank you so much. So we can see that. And I just want to ask you the following question about this part. It says, are you going to do any of the activities on the chart? And uh, when are you doing them? Talk with the partner. So in that case, we will um, socialize this information here together. Are you going to do any of the activities on the chart? Um, maybe this week or weekend? Uh, activate the microphone and say, yes, teacher, I'm going to accommodate act on Sunday, on Sunday with my family, or I'm going to play soccer, for example, with my friends. Or I'm going to go on a picnic uh, this Saturday with some relatives. So who of you are going to do any of these activities during this week? I'm going to a beach party on Saturday night with my friend. Oh, nice. Uh, nice, Ada. ¿No nos quiere llevar al grupo? Yes, como. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> yeah, so that's great. So I hope you will have fun this, this weekend. Thank you, Ada. That's great. Okay, any other comment? Any other activity that you will develop, guys, during this week? I'm going to build a party because my 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 sister is birthday. It's her birthday. Yes. Oh, so you'll have a party. Nice. Yes. Okay, that's good, Hector. Wow, everybody's going to parties. Okay, it sounds interesting. Thank you. Okay, someone else have any special activity on the list that you will do or during this time? Yes, someone else? Yes, teacher. Just this Saturday, I'm going to be to a live concert with my best friends. Is he uh, your favorite? Is his favorite? He is his favorite, right. Thank you. Nice. That's great. Uh, Dennis, so you're going to a concert. Wow, so, sounds great. Enjoy the concert. 
So, you know, concerts are pretty nice because people enjoy it a lot. They sing, they have fun. This is an unstoppable experience for many people. Here. It's super amazing, yes. Excellent. That's great. Okay, thank you for sharing your, you know, plan for this weekend. Okay, someone else have something to say? Mm, I'm going to, in the weekend, um, uh, play a, a bar with my son. A party? No, park. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, can you repeat, can you repeat that? I'm going to, in the, in the weekend, to play with my son uh, in the park. Oh, you will, okay. This, this weekend, you're yes. going to the park, okay, with your yes. son. Sorry, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's great, Elena. So you can dedicate time with him and play and have a good time. Okay, thank mother, you. Mother and son. That's the best decision. Thank, thank you, so, you much. so much. Yeah, that's very valuable. Enjoy this, you know, this time. In my case, Saturday, I had to work. It's <laughs> so sad. <laughs> that's why I need to go to the party. You need to go to the beach. That's good. I need to disconnect from that. All right, so let's continue with the next activity. I know that you have very interesting parts. And, uh, well, we go on to the next one. We have a conversation. This conversation is, can I take a message? According to the picture, according to the picture, where do you think the conversation take place? Could you help me with that? No. Okay, well, and wh where do you think the conversation take place? Mr. Graydon is talking about the client in your office. Ah, in his, in his office. office. Okay, cool. That's that's great. Definitely. Um, so you, you say, Mr. Parker, we have the conversation is between the secretary and Mr. Kale. So in that case, let's see what it says. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so I want you to listen carefully this conversation. And also what I want you to do is to focus about their pronunciation. As I told you before, it's very necessary to concentrate in the way how people talk, the accent, the pronunciation of the words that makes a conversation more interesting. So let's see here. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak uh, to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that a G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right, please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30? And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 Um, 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll... Give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so check this the following conversation. You know, we can see that we can take a message. Um, says, good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Uh, I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. Uh, this is Mr. Kale. This is Gail? Is that Gail? So we, the, the person is asking the secretary because she was not sure if that was Gail or Kale. That's why she, she asked, is that Gail? G-A-L-E? No, it's Kale. K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30? And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 
for 031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. So what I want you to do, guys, is try to practice this conversation. So you will work with your partners and also you can uh, practice the vocabulary. And you have to sound like very natural in the way to talk. Like This is going to be one of the challenges. Because we'll say, teacher, I practice the conversation. Ya leímos la conversación. Okay, ya leímos la conversación. Pero ya practicaste el acento. Ya practicaste cómo se pronuncian las palabras. Ya practicaste los tiempos. Como un, una, una frase, por ejemplo, puede sonar en vez de decir a uh, Good Morning Parker Industries. So, tiene que sonar bastante natural. Y eso pues se logra a través de la práctica, alguna expresión. Cuando te dicen, uh, May I speak with Miss Graham, please? O sea, de practicar. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? May I speak to Miss Graham, please? Eh, la práctica de estas palabras nos hacen que nuestro inglés sea más fino. Es decir, que no sea un inglés forzado. Cuando escuchamos un inglés forzado es como que, Please, eh, tell her our meeting is on Friday. Entonces, eh, practiquemos una segunda vez. Ok, please, tell her our meeting is on Friday. Practiquemos una tercera vez. Uh, please, tell her our meeting is on Friday. Entonces va generando un nivel de, de naturalidad con las palabras. Entonces usted dice, uh, please, tell her our meeting is on Friday. Y entonces ya usted ya va, porque ya lo ha practicado varias veces, ya conoce los tiempos de cada palabra. The pronunciation is very important. Y como les digo, por experiencia, cuando usted tiene un inglés así, un inglés más limpio, un inglés más natural, el inglés se ve bien diferente. Y hasta las personas dicen, hey, qué bonito tu inglés. ¿Has viajado a otro país? No, lo he aprendido en El Salvador. Hey, pero es que tener su inglés muy bueno. Es porque, aparte de que usted escucha la conversación, también al mismo tiempo nos permite eh, desarrollar un poquito más el speaking. Entonces, eh, cuando usted ya vaya a nivel intermedio, intermediate, one, two, and three, ya su inglés va a ser un poquito más natural y no muy forzado con las palabras. Pero, ¿cómo se logra esto? A través de la práctica. Okay, so I want you to well, practice this conversation. I have already sent the audio about this conversation. So if you don't know how to pronounce the word, you can listen the audio and I can help you with that. Así que vamos a, vamos a entrar a los, a los breaker rooms. Y usted así con, sus, eh, con su voz angelical nos va a ayudar a leer esta conversation, okay? Ready? Hello? I don't listen. Ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Excellent. Ready. That's the attitude. That's what I love. Let's go. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. The breakup, breakup. Okay, breakup rooms. Let me see. We have... I guess this is the great number. Let's go. Let's practice.
con, con creo con, con ah, amigos ah, okay. secretaria okay. Sí, empiezo yo, yo? primero no yo comienzo porque acabo oh, de... y luego al revés good morning Parker Industry hello may I speak to Miss Graham please I'm sorry, she's not in, can I take a message? Yes, please, this is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-I-L-E. All right. Please tell her your meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday, I tutorial. At and, tutorial. and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 555 4031. 646 555 4031. Yes, Mr. K. I give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ahora con usted, Adelina. Perdón, Esmeralda. Ajá, hoy usted va a ser la secretaria. Ok. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, my... No, no, hello, may I speak to Mr. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not, she's not, she's not in. I take a message? Yes, please, this is Mr. Kale. Is that Gail? G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 Yes, Mr. K. I'll give Miss Graham to message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> Ay, del profe. <laughs> eh, hoy. Si quieren, hacemos una línea cada una de las tres y así lo vamos repitiendo. De todas maneras, ah, no se nos bye. va a repetir el orden. Uh -huh. Voy a empezar yo. Bye. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Grab? Oh, no, no, Miro. Graham, please. I'm sorry, she's not the. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. K. Is, is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell your Herald meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2. And call you as her to call me this afternoon. My number is 646 555 4231. 646 555 4031. Yes, Mr. Kell, I give Ms. Graham the measures. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Empezó yo ahora. Sí, solo, solo continuemos. Porque si lo hacemos así, no vamos a repetir la frase. Ah, bye. Ah, iba yo. Va. Iba good Esmeralda. Ajá, good, mor Ay, good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Mr. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please, this is Mr. Kale. 
Is that G A L E? No, it's K A K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at at two thirty. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero two one. Yes, Mr. K. I I give. Le faltó Ada. I give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ya hay que salirse. Okay, thank you so much for the practice. I was listening, you know, some conversations and that was great, definitely great. And also I could see the way how you were pronouncing the vocabulary. Great job. Let's see just the next topic. Uh, that is a grammar and proud focus. Um, this is a very short review about the way how we can and you know respond to a message or at least when we are um told to say something or, or something specifically look at the message it says messages with tell and ask that's the topic so we have an statement a, a statement is a phrase or is a sentence for example the meeting is on friday so that's mean that this celebration has a specific date the meeting is on Friday. And the messages with an statement, please. Well, this is very formal. When you say please, you are requesting someone to do something or to tell something, but in a very, very polite way. Please tell N in parentheses, we have that. That is optional, so you can use it or not. So in that case, it's optional. Oh, please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Or please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. That in, in, in parentheses in Spanish will be like, uh, por favor, dile a Ana que ese parentheses es que uh, the meeting is on Friday. Entonces ya eh, cuando ya se convierte en un mensaje, alguien dijo algo, entonces tú vas a decirle a esa persona, you transmit the message. You are the messenger. So you had to use this connection, this vocabulary that you can see in cursive. Please tell Anna that the meeting is on Friday. Or you could say, uh, could you tell her that the meeting it's on Friday? This is another possibility. Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her? Could you tell him? Could you tell them? So you can see the ways. Uh, would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Um, Le dirías que la reunión es el, el viernes? So you can also use, please tell, could you tell, would you tell? Three ways to request for something, right? So it's a message that will be transmitted. And also we have the request. The request would be, Call me this afternoon. In that case, you are requesting because the statement is the meeting is on Friday is a message. But in the second part, it's a request. You need help. You need something specifically. Call me this afternoon. And the messages with the request is, please, please, always very formal, please ask him 
to call me this afternoon. Please, ask him to call me this afternoon. Por favor, eh, en este caso, ask him to call. Eh, dile que me llame esta, esta tarde. Por favor, dile que me llame esta tarde. So, please, ask him to call me this afternoon. Y está el siguiente. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? ¿Podrías decirle? En este caso, could you? ¿Podrías tú decirle que me llame esta tarde? Could you ask him? ¿Podrías decirle que me llame esta tarde? Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Y la última que sería, would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Eh, ¿Le dirías que me llame esta tarde? Y entonces vemos ahí como eh, the grammar focus es the message with tell and ask. So the goal about this activity is that you can check that we used this message. Like, please ask him, please tell him that the party is on Friday. Hey, would you tell him that the party is on Friday? Hey, would you tell him that the party is on Friday? Please tell my students that tomorrow we have class. Could you tell my students that we tomorrow we have a class? Would you tell my students that the class is uh, we have a class tomorrow? And then also you can see that. And as part of the activities. Let me see something here. Oh my God, so then, oh, the presentation changed. Look at that. Okay, much better. So you can see here as part of the request and also when you are asking someone to, you know, to say something or send a message, it's always important to use these structures. Please tell, could you tell, would you tell, or oh, please ask, could you ask? Would you ask? So that is like the, the common way in this in this exercise. For example, si yo les dijera, por ejemplo, en la siguiente oración, look at the chat. I'm going to move this. And... Okay, the statement is, uh, look at the chat. We have class tomorrow. How can you use, how can you use the example, the message with a statement? Um, we have a class tomorrow. How can I say that using messages with a statement? Help me. We have class tomorrow. Please tell them that the, the class of tomorrow. Uh-huh. Okay, please tell them that we have class tomorrow. Okay, y conclude, ¿cómo sería? Could you tell them that the class of tomorrow? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Could you tell them that the class of tomorrow that we have class tomorrow. Uh, could you tell them that we have class tomorrow? Yes. And what about would? How would would be? Would you tell them that, that the class is tomorrow? Okay. Uh, could you tell them that we have class tomorrow? That would be another choice too. That's perfect. Okay, um, yes, we will. So look at the next one. We're about to finish. And also tomorrow we'll continue with the exercises. And also it's pretty easy because we're about to finish. Uh, I will speak in Spanish because there is a message. Uh, por favor, quiero pedirles que aquellos que no han realizado algún ejercicio de la plataforma lo pueden hacer. Por ahí me estaban comentando que había un estudiante que no tenía, eh, no había hecho ejercicios. Entonces, eh, me decían pues que es muy importante porque si no pierde como esa scholarship. Entonces, si alguien por alguna situación no ha podido, pues necesito que se contacte ahí 
porque este, sí, ustedes saben que eh, uno de los requisitos es eso, y para que esto pueda estar activamente en la clase y desarrollando los ejercicios. Recuerde que estos son proyectos que nos sirven muchísimo para el aprendizaje de idioma inglés, e incluso hasta a mí, que estoy aquí con ustedes, me sirve muchísimo. Entonces, eh, siempre se aprenden muchas cosas nuevas. Entonces, yo aquí aprendo mucho con ustedes. Entonces, necesito que en ese sentido, eh, ¿verdad? Si alguien no ha completado los ejercicios respectivos, lo pueda hacer. Bien, vamos a pasar a la asistencia y culminamos. Nuestro... ¿A qué se refiere con ejercicio? Lo de las la tareas. plataforma. Las tareas de las plataformas. Yes. Yes, yes. Vamos a ver. Ada Agar Burgos. Present. Blanca Elena Melara. Blanca Blanca. Cristian eh, Salatiel Molina. Present. Eh, Claudia Lisset Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. David Roberto Aquino. David. Denis Francisco Alvarado. Present. Thank you. Elena Gabriela Jovel. Present teacher. Thanks. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Present teacher. Thanks. Giselle, eh, Giselle Emperatriz Cañas. Giselle. Present. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Present. Eh, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Thank you. María Elena Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Rebeca Janelle Hernández. Rebeca. Eh, Ella Mar escribió en el grupo, teacher, de que tenía problemas con la familia, que no iba a a estar eh, hablando pero sí estaba en clase mm -hmm. ok thank you very kind eh, Vanessa Gabriela Hernández Vanessa eh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández sorry teacher hello no es mi nombre verdad eh, ¿quién? ¿quién? Yo, eh, Janel Uh, ¿Su primer nombre, perdón? Rebeca Yonel Hernández. Sí, teacher, la acaba de mencionar. Sí, hace dos. Oh, yeah. Antes de Somara. Ok, 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 thank you. Ok, so, let's see. And uh, what about Vanessa, Vanessa Gabriela Hernandez? Vanessa? Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernandez? Ella tiene problemas con el internet, la votó, teacher. Ok. Eh, Jessica. Es en el grupo, disculpe. Ok, thank you. Eh, eh, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez? Jessica? Y Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, students, thank you so much because you have been great today. Congratulations because you always practice English in the class. So I hope to see you tomorrow and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Congratulations for the work done and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye, you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Have a nice night.